Hey YouTube, Shukun Shinobi here with a review of the Kamen Rider Kiva Deluxe Guru Saber, also known as the Guru Lu Saber, according to the Rider Goods Collection's romanization. But I will continue to call it the Guru Saber, and it's nice and blue. So here is a uh, Guru form right here with the Guru Saber, a nice picture of the toy right here saying, oh, it's got sounds, lols. And uh, that converts from its little tiki mode to uh, to the sword mode here. There we go there, on the side, normal stuff on Zibek, and, yeah. And here is the Saber itself, or at least in its statuette form, uh, which actually looks really cool on display. Um, the, the cool thing about these weapons is that all of the arms monsters have a statuette form, so... You don't have to display, like, a sword on your display. You can display a cool little wolf statue guy. So, uh, that's really cool, and it does look pretty, pretty nice on display. Uh, we've got, like, his arms crossed up here with some sort of chest pendant with his face. But, you know, oh, I'm Jiro, I'm Kenji Matsuda, I'm Ott. And blah, blah, blah. Uh, the chest panel here does move, but that's for later. That's really all there is to this mode. Uh, if you flip it on, you get that noise. And uh, the only real sound for this mode is used by pressing this button down here. It is actually relatively annoying. So I'll keep him on to continue to do noises. Um, so like I said, that's that's really it. His mouth doesn't open, his head don't move. He's just a statue. So to transform him, um, everything locks except for this part right here. But uh, this all locks into place. So what you're going so what you're gonna do is press this button right here. That will lift this entire section upwards. And then what you want to do is flip that section around, and then flip this section around, and then you have the blade. Then from there, you want to just flip this mouthpiece up, and then that mouthpiece up. And until that locks right about there. And uh, there you go. You've got the Garuru Saber. Uh, it is held like this with the mouth outward. But it doesn't particularly matter. It kind of does. I don't know. Anyway, um, despite it being the Garuru Saber, it's a, it's a Chris, which is a Saber. But um, that is the type of curvy blade sort of sword found in Asia. So uh, that's cool. It's always nice to get a weapon that, despite being a blade, is like a blade that we don't get too often. So uh, that's a pretty cool design going on here. Um, when you press this trigger, the this back trigger right here, rather, the mouth opens so you can like pretend that it's talking to you or that it's actually reviewing itself or something like that. I don't really know. Fuck. So anyway, uh, this activates sword noises, so let's go through those. It just cycles through those two. And then back here activates more noises. Sadly, holding them both down doesn't do anything. So you've got a howl, a clang, a and then... That either does it once, twice, or three times. It's just kind of random what it does. Uh, so those are actually all the sounds, which is kind of sad. I don't really know what else they would put in here. But but yeah, uh, it does fit okay in the hand. Um, it is relatively short. Uh, this trigger is a little bit difficult to not hit but uh, outside of that it, it fits okay in my hand but my hand is really tiny and this is what we got going on right here so um, like I said I do like the design of the blade and the overall design of the saber um, it is short it's by no means a one-to-one -one replica or anything like that but um, it, it comes off looking like a like some sort of cross between a dagger and a Chris so uh, that a dagger and a Chris, there was an inside joke there, and I won't go into it. Uh, but fold that up, 
bring that back down, you do have to press the button right there. And then there's a button back here. Press that and the jaw will drop down like that. And yes, I completely food. forgot about this part. Uh, the Guru Saber has a hole in the bottom here for Tetzla. So he just kind of plugs in right here. And then the sword just gets slightly longer, really. Uh, it makes it heavier. That's honestly about it. Let's see if see if we're lucky. There, it matches now. So, yeah, it doesn't add any sounds to the Guru Saber at all, and it just adds that to Tad Slot. So it really doesn't do anything, but it's 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 doable. And we are back to the statue mode. Um, I picked this up for 800 yen, which is about $10, off of Mandarake. So, um, for, for $8, or for $10, 800 yen, that was absolutely worth it, because I'm such a huge fan of uh, Jiro Kenji Matsuda. He's, like, one of my favorite actors ever. Uh, and, and I love Kiva to death. It was my first series. I, I like collecting anything from Kiva, really. So, um, despite it not actually being my favorite show, but it's just got a place in my heart. So, um, for that, it was definitely worth it, but, uh, if you picked it up at retail, I'm kind of sorry, because it really wasn't probably worth the retail. But if you can find it for as cheap as I did, I'd say it was definitely worth it. But, um, just for the statue mode alone, looks really nice on display with, like, Kivat and stuff. So, uh, for that, it was worth it, but as a roleplay toy, it's just kind of, eh, shaky waters there. So you can check out a short written review and the, the podcast at RadosRangersAndRambles.com. And of course you can check out my personal blog at ShukumanShinobi.wordpress.com and follow me on Twitter at ShukumanShinobi. So take care and have a great one. Bye.